Hey guys, Chef Joe Seminara. Today we're gonna to get started on a simple dough recipe. Now, there's a couple of things I put in the dough um, that I really think add to it. And um, believe it or not, I add a half a cup of Coca-Cola, but you can use uh, any type of, uh, of soda that is sweet. It gives it a nice uh, dark color in the dough as well as give it some sweetness. Now I am gonna add a little bit of granulated sugar as well, but uh, I always find that what's in the um, that kind of soda really brings uh, a great color when it's cooked. If you're looking for that nice brown color, uh, it helps with the texture, fluffens it up a bit and gives it a really nice sweet taste. Now I am putting in the usuals in there, right? We have the flour, we have the salt, and again, I don't know, it's just me, but I love to use kosher salt when I'm doing pizza. We're using some kind of olive oil. You can use pretty much any oil you want. Don't use a first cold pressed olive oil because what you're gonna find out is the first cold pressed olive oil is just so damn strong and it's gonna take this flavor to the next level uh, and in a bad level. Now we got dry yeast. You can use fresh yeast if you wanted to. You know, you have the bricks of yeast and you can, uh, you know, you carve off an, an ounce of, uh, of wet yeast. However, the dry is just as good. Um, I like to keep dry in the kitchen because honestly I have frozen yeast in the freezer as well because I mean let's face it you, you leave that too long in the refrigerator it's going to go bad at some point I don't make that much dough but when I do make it I prefer the fresh yeast but uh, you know I'm not going to waste a whole block what I like to do is just go to my local pizzeria and I'm like hey Tony can I get you know two ounces of yeast great you know so they're usually pretty good but keep some of this this is always good for like a snow day next quarantine pandemic, you know, this is always good to have in the house. And then we got sugar, um, white sugar. Now, there's a, there's a difference. You know, I found that granulated sugar is definitely the way to go with this. And then we have our, um, you know, our two cups of water in here, always warm, right? Because you're not gonna be able to dissolve the yeast, the sugar and everything else, but never hot because I can kill the yeast as well. I mean, dough is a, especially pizza dough is an art. You know, I've, I've been making sourdough breads where you take a, a piece of the pool that's, you know, a week old and then you just kind of start putting it into the starter. And I mean, you can really get crazy with this stuff. In fact, they, re, they sell really good sourdough starters uh, online. Check out Ed, Ed Wood's sourdough starter. He's definitely got some of the best stuff out there. But, and then we're also gonna add a little bit of coconut oil. Uh, now the coconut oil I use is from Swanson. Uh, go on Swanson, uh, uh, you can Google them. They're, they're a vitamin company, but they got flaxseed oil, coconut oil. They got a really a lot of good stuff. And what I found with that company is their brand is very, very consistent, which is good. So anything that has the Swanson brand on there, um, definitely take a look at it. Because, you know, look, I'm a stickler. Brands do change their recipes and everything else. And, and one thing I can't stand is making a recipe. I follow my recipe and something comes out wrong. And I'm like, well, did I not add anything? But no, it's, it's the manufacturer. They change around what they do, you know, with their stuff. So uh, we're going to take all of this and we're going to go over to the Univex mixer that we got. Now, this thing is amazing. It does everything from whip it to paddle it to making dough. And we're going to use that arm hook to make the dough. The Univex Planetary Mixer, model SRM20, it's the only planetary mixer completely made in the USA. Sizes range from 12 quart to 80 quarts. Utilizes a hybrid gear driven transmission system. Switches speeds on the fly while the mixer is on, like many of these other competitors do not. Do not turn the mixer off and try to switch speeds. Mixer comes with a bowl scraper to help push the products down into the bowl. Comes in various different colors. Uh, and we got a good amount here to, to, to make that happen. We're gonna go over to the machine uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like, especially if you're in the food service industry, you'll find that this is, this is another company that's real consistent with their stuff. Um, and it lasts. I, we beat the heck out of this stuff here. You know, we got chefs all day long cooking, using, and, and they never broke down. You know, even their slicing machine. You, you know, talk about delis and all these restaurants that hate to sharpen the slicer. Who really hates to sharpen the slicer? I do. Right, and let's face it, you, can, you know, if you know what you're doing, it comes with the sharpener sometimes. But 
There is a difference between a good blade and a good blade has got that sharpness on it. So we're gonna take a walk over there. We're gonna put all this stuff in there. We're gonna, I'm, I'm using more yeast than usual in here. This is a quarter cup of yeast and it's probably double the amount of what you need. But I find that if you're gonna work your dough a little bit and it really rises and you're gonna knock it down again and let it rise again, knock it down again, what, you, what you're doing is you're making it airy and it's gonna come out really good. Um, so I tend to add a little bit more yeast than usual. It's just me. So let's get started. Let's grab the bowl, put everything in there and take it to the next step. So we got the bowl here. We're gonna add all the ingredients. Uh, first, what we're gonna do is add the yeast, the sugar, and the salt together. We're gonna to mix that up in the water. So we're mixing this up really good. Then we're gonna take this and put it right in the bowl. And again, we're warm here, folks. We're not hot. We don't want to kill the yeast. With a half a cup of soda, add the oil, and we're going to add the flour. And over here, we're using two pounds of flour. And when it comes free from the sides of the bowl, we know we're done. If we have to add a little bit more flour, we will. So now you have an incredible looking dough here. The color's good, the texture's good, and I'm gonna swing you around and show you. What we're gonna do is roll it out into uh, little balls. I'm gonna probably split, I'd say three eight ounce pieces here out of this batch. Uh, but that's what you're looking for. You know, you can, you're can able to kind of slap it and nothing goes on the hand. Uh, and we're gonna let this, uh, this baby rise and do its thing. So let's start molding it. So again, we'll take the other dough here and you're gonna basically squeeze, squeeze, pinch the top, you're done. All right, on to the next level. Let this rise, let the yeast do its thing. We'll refrigerate it and we're gonna be making pizzas.